If you buy a used vehicle from a curber, someone pretending to be a private seller, you'll be on your own if there are any problems. So before you part with your hard-earned cash, know what you are buying and who you are buying from. Here are some red flags to watch out for. Is the same telephone number used for different vehicles in the paper or online? If so, the ads were likely placed by a curber. Curbers want to meet you at a coffee shop, a mall, or a parking lot, not at any residential address except yours. Curbers love cash. That way they can cheat on their taxes. They will want you to lie on the transfer documents. They will suggest you can save on the tax by declaring a lower value than the vehicle is worth. But if something goes wrong, it's hard to go to the police if you've broken the law too. Because their name will often not be on the vehicle documents, they will say they are selling the vehicle for a friend or family member. Curbers get you to make bad decisions by rushing you or by playing on your emotions with a sad story. Use your head. If a deal sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Beware if the seller is too easy to deal with, plays on your emotions, insists on cash, needs payment right away, or says that they are selling the vehicle for a friend. Don't let yourself be rushed. He asked us if we could pay it all in cash because he wanted to give us a deal as we were young kids and he wanted to put less on the tax transfer papers. We found out that when we want to get to the, whoever had sold us the car, it wasn't in fact the person that was on our transfer papers and we had no tracing or way of tracing the guy that had originally sold us the car. Next, learn six steps you should always take before buying a vehicle privately.